I mean, to have to beg a man to be physically affectionate towards you is a lot. How about to beg him to be physically guys, attracted guys, to me? Guys, enough now. You've signed that commitment ceremony and begged for the bare minimum. For the bare minimum that he's now giving. You shouldn't have to beg a man for the bare minimum. So, mind your business. It's interesting how when people go on reality TV, the longer they stay on a show, the more relaxed they, they become and the more their masks come off. You actually get to see who they are. And with Sasha, sadly, she's joined the Holly Polly Lacey crew and her mask has fallen off. And she doesn't realize this. And the way Alex was sitting there watching her, the face on him, he, he was enjoying it because he could see that everyone was now getting to see Sasha for who she is and that she's not this sweet princessy Miss Birmingham. She's actually gets down in the gutter, just like Polly. And for the two of them to try and gang up on Alex didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. I don't know what they thought they could they would have been better off maybe going after Luke or Nate because they would have kept quiet but Alex is not the one or the two to try it with and I'm happy that he stood on business with them yes I always don't support him I don't like the way he is at times but still when he's right he's right he said what the whole world has been wanting to say to her, to Polly and I'm here for it anyway hey there thanks for stopping by welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, share and definitely leave a comment. In this episode, I'll be reviewing Married at First Sight UK season nine, episode 23. The producers knew exactly what they were doing and they were trying to be messy, messy as hell. This is why they set up these dates as they did. So they split the couples and sort of set one couple well one group went for salsa dancing and they went to a pub set up the other group went to the countryside and i said this before that what's happening is those people that they know are going to go through a terrible time they always give them the best sort of setup because in the sort of country retreat they the spa day it's being given to kieran um casper um nate um sasha because they know she's going to clash with Alex and Polly. So they have been sent there. And it's like, poor look, he just wants a break. He just wants a break. Can someone just give him that? I didn't see Siobhan or Shannon or Ryan. I don't know where they are. So you then have the other group, you know, go salsa dancing. And, oh, okay. So you have the guys in the pool. So you have Nate and you have Casper. They're speaking to Alex, sort of asking him, how has this week been? Where, where do you guys stand at the moment? Um, is, are you still apart from, you know, Holly? And he said, yes, she went away and she hasn't come back. So I don't know what's going on with her. I'm just waiting for her to come back and then we can have a conversation, which is understandable. He says that he sent her a message, which is what I highlighted yesterday, that I think he needs to send her a message and then wait for her to respond. If she doesn't respond, then he knows that she's not yet ready. If she responds, then they can have a conversation because their conversations go from zero to a hundred. Um, and then you have the girls. So you have Polly and Sasha. Suddenly they're best friends. They're best friends. They are now aligned because they're both on this I Hate Alex tour and they're waiting for Alex to start something and then, you know, they they say, well, Sasha says she's ready. And it's like, Sasha, you've been quiet all along. Now the mask is falling off. Now we are actually seeing you for who you are because this wasn't you at the start. When everyone else was clashing, you were nowhere to be found. When the girls were skinning uh, Hannah alive, you were nowhere to be found. And suddenly you have all this smoke for Alex because... He answered you. Had he kept quiet, then you would have been fine. But because it's Alex, you feel some type of way. Um, you have the other group go salsa dancing. And of all the people that Lacey could dance with, she chose to dance with Adam. And she she was upside down. She was, you know, straddling him and stuff. And it's like, you know, this man has got a crush on you. You know, this man says you're his type. Why would you feel it's necessary to do that? Why not dance with one of the other girls? Why would you feel it's appropriate? So you were so wound up by Hannah kissing Orson, who had already broken up with his partner, but you're okay straddling your 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 mate's uh, husband. Make that make sense? That dance was inappropriate. Everybody was just looking because even Emma said, "Oh wow, that's too much." Anyway, uh, 
back at the spa, you have Polly and Sasha receive a text message from Holly saying she's going to take a moment to think about her marriage. She just needs time. And then once she's made up her mind, she'll come back. And it's like the moment I said this yesterday, the moment she left the experiment should have been it. She doesn't need to go home and think. She needs to think before she leaves. Once she's made her mind up to leave, she needs to go and she shouldn't come back. Um, so Alex immediately comes through. I think the producer set all this up. Um, and the girls are sort of asking him, do you like Holly? Do you like Holly? And, and it's like, he doesn't owe you an explanation. He doesn't owe you an answer. He said to you, you know, if she is treating me the way she's treating me, that shows me she doesn't care. So if she doesn't care, he's more or less so saying, if she doesn't care, why should I? And yet they're saying, no, we want a yes or no answer. Who are you to question him? Are you his partner? Are you his mother? Are you, are you Holly's children? Who are you to ask him? You have no right to ask him. Mind your own business and focus on your own marriages. So you have a sit down between Christina and uh, Emma and Emma's just discussing, you know, their meet up with Charlene and the fact that Casper said, you know, he's looking forward to sort of um, trying out the things he's been taught. That way he can use them on his next relationship and she doesn't want to be his guinea pig. And this is the same thing I said yesterday. I said she needs to be mindful of what she says and how she says it because that can trigger a response that she doesn't like. And then she's all up in her feelings. But at the end of the day, she opened the door and he just stepped in. Um, and just like clockwork, the experts send an envelope to to a golden envelope. You know they have to start some drama. They can't have them on a retreat to enjoy themselves and not start any drama. So the pub group is asked, you know, um, who is lying about their feelings? Um, you have Adam saying, I feel it's between Alex and Holly. Um, I, I love them, but one of them is not being honest about their feelings. And it's like, who are you to judge them? You are not being honest about your feelings as well. Because you said you were not attracted to this woman. You said you didn't want to kiss her, blah, 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 blah. Had a family meet up, had your friend come over, and then suddenly you're all in there. You're kissing and you're making out and you've moved on from the fact that you're not attracted to her. So you're just as bad as. I feel like, because you then had Lacey said, oh, she feels it's Alex. Uh, they asked, uh, Ross Ross said he feels it's Alex. Everybody then ganged up, yes, it's Alex, it's Alex. He's the one who's faking his feelings. And it's like, but all of you could have easily said Shannon and look, because they're not there. Nobody knows what's happened to them. But you've decided to pick on the couple that's not there, that you feel that you can get away with it and you won't get any backlash, which I don't like. Um, the spa group is what is the missing ingredient in your marriage? And Casper talks about the fact that they had a visit from Charlene. They had a conversation. And in that conversation, Emma said, you know, she doesn't feel comfortable to be vulnerable with uh, with him at the moment. And he himself, um, you know, doesn't feel um, like there's a future there. And so he's worried that if he doesn't see a future and if she doesn't see a present, what's the point of being in this marriage? Um, you then have Holly pipe up out of the blue she decides to put her two pants in and when you come for the master you need to come prepared she came to a gunfight with a knife and sadly there she is on the floor bleeding because she says um she feels like alex is sort of um there's a lot of underlying feelings there and he's trying to sort of maintain this persona and he's not being honest with you how he feels um and he says what do you mean what do you mean i don't understand she says in regards to your relationship you're not being honest with how you feel about your wife and your marriage and so that's when he says you know uh, Kieran asks, well, wh what's going on? I don't understand. And he explained that, you know, she's gone to see her kids because she said she misses her kids. So that's where she is. And she sent a message to say she's thinking about her marriage to the girls. And so this is where we are. And then you had Polly try to continue to poke and poke and poke the bear until the bear got upset because she said to him, you know, you have had a lot of ups and downs more than everybody else. And Alex, he was trying not to go there. But she took him there and he went there and he went straight to the bottom of the gut and he dragged her for filth. It was entertainment gold because he then said to her, what do you mean I'm, we're not as, doing as well as others? Because at the end of the day, if my husband told me he wasn't attracted to me, I would have been out the door. If my wife told me that she would twist for another guy, I would have been out the door. So what are you still doing here? You're no better than us oh well we're doing better we've moved on from that we are working on our marriage we're doing a lot better and it's like but still this has been said you were on the couch begging him and i've said this she begged him to hug her she begged him to kiss her she begged him to have sex she begged him to do a romantic gesture every single thing that he's done she's had to beg him 
And yet, when you were, the two seconds that he danced with Holly, he was already feeling hot and bothered. He was already feeling hot and bothered after dancing with Holly for two seconds. But his wife had to go to the commitment ceremony to beg him. And she keeps poking and poking until Alex, I think Alex was really trying his best to, to be a good guy, but they took him there. And the way Sasha was looking, you could tell she was trying. You know, when you're playing double dutch and someone is looking for when can I jump in? When is it my turn? You could see that was what was going through her mind because she was trying to see where she could fit herself in and not be blamed for entering a conversation that had nothing to do with her. Poor look. He went to the cottages. He wanted just peace and to see the birds. There was Hannah. Now he's here and there's another World War Three. When can he get a moment just to enjoy himself and not be a part of the drama? I don't get it. I, Alex, I know he's... It's surprising he was very even-tempered today because normally he would have exploded and he would have stormed out. But he sat there calmly and the sarcastic look he had on his face as he was continuing to dig in the knife. Oh my God, I loved it. This thing is like day and night because at the pub they are asked, have you ever lied about your feelings? And Adam says, no, he hasn't lied about his feelings. He's said this truth when he wasn't attracted to his wife. He said it on the couch in front of everyone. So he feels he's been honest all the time. Whatever he's been going through, he's been honest and this is it. And it's like, I wish someone had asked him, yes, you said you weren't attracted to your wife, but are you now attracted to her? Nobody asked that. They jumped over that. Why? We would have wanted to know. Yes, you said you weren't attracted to her. You weren't having the urge to kiss her. What changed? What made you suddenly develop those feelings? That's the question I wanted asked in the room, but nobody asked that question. Um, you have uh, Christina. She said she's always been honest with Kieran about how she's feeling. At the moment, he seems to be checking out and she's really in the moment and she's really trying to sort of bring him back to where they started at the wedding when things were amazing and see if they can actually give it a go. Um, Lacey says she's always been honest with Nate. If he wasn't attracted to her, that would be his own business because look at her. And it's like, that's a dig at your friend again. Emma says she's been fairly honest and uh, she's not said um, she doesn't fancy her husband, even though he's not her type. She's really been willing to give it a go and she hopes that he will continue to be willing to give it a go. Emma and Casper have a lot of work that they need to do. Even if they leave the experiment with, uh, separately, they're still going to struggle in the world to, to date people because their dating experience and their dating history is terrible. Apparently, they've both never been in relationships, which is a bit surprising given their age. So I don't get how they can sort of be that old and still not have dated someone. I am a bit confused about that. Um, at this part, the girls are busy moaning about you know, Alex and the fact that, you know, oh, we don't like him here. The producers knew what they were doing. They knew Alex had an issue with the two girls, uh, Polly and Sasha. So that's why they sent them there. That's why they sent them there because they knew they wanted the drama. And it's like swings and roundabouts. One is very calm and very mellow. And the other one, they're ready to throw chairs. So when Alex, you know, you have Sasha complaining that, oh, he hasn't even spoke to me. He spoke to Ross and told Ross that he needed to speak to me. He's calm. He's seen us in the pool. He hasn't spoken to me. Um, I don't get it. And it's like he came to the pool. The two of you attacked him and he, and you, he left. You, now you're complaining to everybody else. If you really wanted to speak to him, you should have pulled him aside. Alex, do you mind if we sit down and have a conversation? But no, you're trying. You are looking for your spot. You're looking for your spot. So when Alex walks back into the room, you can see her. She's agitated. She's on the edge of her seat. She's waiting for him to say something. And all the guys don't want to say anything. Up until Luke says to Alex, Alex, is everything okay with you and, you know, Sasha? And he says, well... He was going to speak to Sasha because, you know, out of respect for Ross, he was going to have a conversation with her because at the at the commitment ceremony, he didn't say anything just because he wanted to be respectful to what? To, to Ross, which I understand because he could have gone to the gutter as he's done now, but he decided not to because he was being respectful to his mate and he decided not to say anything derogatory or, or anything upsetting to his friend's wife. And so for her to say, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Say it now, say it now. And it's like, why are you poking the bear? Why are you poking the bear? You're trying to get him out of character so that you can blame him and say, he said this, he said that, he said that. And then for Polly to step in, it was unnecessary. And he even told the police, stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. And they kept poking and poking and poking. And he was actually enjoying it, I think, because he was tired of Sasha playing an angel. Because this week we get to see the other side of Sasha.
The mask is falling off. And sadly, she doesn't realize that her mask is falling off. I feel like she's realized that her marriage is not going to work. And now she wants clout. And so she's doing this for the clout because she's realized Hannah has got a lot of sort of clout behind her because of all the drama that went on with her. So she's decided to go for the person that she feels that the viewers won't like. And it got so low as Alex told her, you know, you wear cheap jewelry. And she's like, oh, do you want to ask Ross about the bracelet, the diamond bracelet that he got me? And it's like, is it really diamond? Diamond or is it fake diamond did he get it or did the show get it for him which is it um and so for her to continue digging and continue digging i don't blame alex for anything he said i know he went down to the gutter again he told her you don't drive you don't own a car you don't own a house and it's like oh my god make it stop the guys that were there sadly couldn't couldn't tame him because the girls were saying oh you always come after the girls because you can't come after the boys you're afraid of. and he said no i haven't come for the boys because the boys haven't come for me because i think if the boys were to come for him he would be willing to throw hands because he's a boxer he, we've seen him practice boxing so you'd be willing to throw hands but with girls he can't throw hands so he can only use his lip and if you're going to come for someone and if you're going to go low expect them to say and do whatever they want you can't sit there and be poking him and prodding him and telling him all this nonsense and then expect him to just sit there and smile he was enjoying it that's just my my opinion he was enjoying it because he was actually enjoying the fact that her mask was falling and Sasha didn't see this because she was so riled up um he was enjoying the fact that everyone could see who she really is and we could see how bad she can be because we've always got the you know this cutesy Sasha who's in love with Ross who's all ditzy and stuff and so to suddenly see her say some of the most vile things was I, I was 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 hilarious because she was saying i'm better than you and this i'm better than you is what i was saying yesterday when i was saying i didn't like the way she spoke to him because it reminded me of the jesse with a y and josh on love island situation because there's this i'm better than you situation when what does she mean she's better than him what does she mean she's better than him is she better looking is she better is she more accomplished is she uh, more intelligent what is she better than him at is the question that everyone should have asked her. And so for her to be upset and to say, uh, Ross needs to really uh, back this. It's like, why are you starting a fight that you're not going to finish? So are you constantly starting a fight for your man to handle it or your daddy to handle it? Is that what you do? Do you go about picking fights and then wait for your daddy to go and resolve it? What is it? I don't get it. And I feel like maybe this is one of the reasons why she and Ross didn't work out in the end. I feel like Ross maybe was fed up of her sort of, putting on this cutesy thingy and then in public in private being her you know the mask coming off and him truly seeing who, her for who she is so the pub group is asked uh which couple do you think has the best secret sex and everyone is sort of looking around obviously it's not going to be amy and casper we're not going to say that obviously it's not going to be polly and adam regardless of the fact that he's doing his best uh and so you have amy and emma say it's sasha and ross because they say because of well amy says because of the reaction that um sort of sasha had at the dinner at the commitment ceremony she believes that she's very feisty she believes that there's a wild side that people didn't realize is there and so they now think that they must be the couple who are doing it like rabbits and ross just smiles and he says he's not going to confirm anything um lacy thinks it's amy and look and amy is just sitting there smiling and they're saying because of the way look is the way he looks you know uh lacy saying oh it would be amazing i would want to join in and it's like please leave them alone their husband and wife leave them alone adam says you know oh you know maybe look is busy throwing amy around the room he's smacking her on the bottom they're having an amazing time and i get i, I get where they're coming from i really get where they're coming from because they look like very cute a very cute couple they look like models and the fact that you know he's very romantic and he's got his way with words and he's very passionate about what he says i can understand why everyone would think that they are the ones that are having the most amazing time uh amy in her confessional says she's not going to confirm it or she's not going to deny anything all she can say is that she's the one who's busy throwing look around the room and it's like she's having an amazing time she hasn't complained she was complaining that he's too cringy he must be very good at something that's why she stopped complaining about him otherwise she'd be complaining left right and center just like most of the other wives
So they take a photo, which I thought personally thought was cute. Because they were sitting apart, they had to come in a bit closer, which meant that uh, Ross had to stand up because Amy's the one who had the, the photo that was who had the phone that was taking the, the pictures. Um and so he came in closer and sort of was sort of leaning in towards Lacey, sent it to her husband, and he was telling, you know, the group, Oh, we've received a picture from the other group. I think their questions were too toxic, that's why we didn't get as much of a response, or maybe they didn't have as much of a reaction. It's was only that incident this is why we didn't get to see sort of the spa group's responses to all the questions um so he shows the group the picture and suddenly such as in her feelings she feels some type of way why does it look like you know a uh, ross is sitting with his partner why is he sitting in and it's like people always lean in when they're taking a selfie they always lean in so this is nothing new um they then receive more pictures and it's of lacy straddling adam and nate was just smiling and polly polly had no reaction and it's like i wonder if she would feel the same way if that were hannah I wonder if she'd feel the same way if that were Hannah. And I wonder if she's putting on a brave face for everyone because she doesn't want them to see if she, uh, how upset she is. Because this man has told her countless times that he's attracted to Lacey. Um, and so you have the guy say, oh, he looks very happy. He looks very... And he did look very happy. He looked very excited because this is this type of girl. He's had a crush on her since he saw her. And yet Polly says, oh, you know, uh, it's a good thing. It's Lacey. I'm okay with Lacey. You know, I'd rather it be lacy than anybody else and it's like mm, nah i like the fact that you know uh look said i would be happy with you know somebody's balls being next to my wife's poly pocket or something and you know nate was okay with it he said you know he's not bothered because at the end of the day he can't tell her don't dance with people don't whatever whatever it's just a matter of trust and a matter of respect and that's where it stands um I think Alex had had a moment to reflect and was actually going to say something nice to Sasha because he said, oh, can I say something? Can I say something? And then I think Sasha realizing she wasn't the center of attention and everybody wasn't talking about the fact that Ross had his arm around Lacey. She then stormed off and started crying and said, I feel disrespected. And it's like, what if you were the one whose husband had been straddled? They would have needed paramedics on scene to resuscitate you because you'd be out. Make it make sense. Why are you making such a big deal about it? It's not that deep. He's just got his arm around someone and they're actually taking a picture. It's not like someone took a, a picture of a snippet of them sort of cuddling without them knowing. Everybody was in the group. Everybody was huddled up for the, for the picture. So don't make a big deal out of nothing. Um, everyone else was confused because they were like, but he's innocent. What is she upset about? We don't quite get it because the, t the picture was actually very harmless. So I don't know why she was that upset. I'm just as confused as everybody else. So you have everybody go back to their apartments and Polly goes to meet up with Adam and she sits there and crocodile tears. She starts crying. She tells him that, oh, you know, Alex told me you're not attracted to me. And it's like, why? Even Adam asks. I have to give Adam credit for the first time. He asked her, why did he say that? Oh, he just came at me. He attacked me. Even all the guys can attest to this. He attacked me and he told me you're not attracted to me. You, you don't find me attractive. This, And it's like, why? Why? Because Adam said, I'll have a conversation with him and I'll ask him why. Why he said that? Because he's supposed to be my best friend. So why would he say that to you? There has to be a reason behind it. And she wouldn't say that she poked him or whatever. She sort of played it down and made herself the victim. I think what she did is she took a page from Sasha and they've decided to go back to their husbands and play the victim and get their husbands to gang up on Alex. And Alex is able to, to stand up for himself. If they think Alex is not going to back himself, he's going to be able to back himself. And when their husbands watch the show and realize what actually happened... I hope they, they understand why he came the way he came. Yes, they might not have reacted that way, but Alex will take you wherever you want to go. If you want to go to the gutter, he'll take the express train with you. He's not afraid to do that. Some of the other guys are more gentlemanly and are more sort of well behaved or sort of well well they're more demure but he doesn't have time for that he doesn't have patience for that if you're going to take him down he's going to come down the expressway with you and you're going to you know resolve whatever issues you have so i give him credit for standing on business so you have Shannon and Ryan have a conversation with the, well, they split them because uh Shannon has a conversation with Emma and with Lacey does it make sense? I guess so. They're the more rational ones. I think Christina doesn't like to be involved in people's mess. So that's why they didn't bring her in. 
um ryan has a conversation with nate nate doesn't like to be involved in people's mess so i'm surprised that he actually sat there he really was away with the fairies he doesn't like to be involved in drama it was more curious sort of asking what happened more moral of the story apparently they had a clash so he says he was putting his shoes on and he was struggling to tie his shoelaces and she came to try and help him with his shoelaces and then they fell out because of that because he told her to leave it and things went downhill she says you know they had a fight he was disrespectful he told her that his feelings were not genuine he's been faking his feelings for her all along and she also when they were at the couple's retreat things were bad she actually downplayed it and it's like so why were you downplaying it she says well i was really looking for love and i really had strong feelings for him and it's like i want the whole story where were the producers where were the the cameras when all this was going off somebody should have heard the noise the commotion and should have recorded it because why are we not getting to hear exactly what happened and for her to say that this man is a different man on camera as he is off camera I can get part of it. I can get part of it. I can understand it because I think I saw somewhere where it said he's an ex-football player, but his sort of uh, introduction was about him being this bin man who's been through cancer and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, mm. they were both there for clout. Let us not lie. Let us not lie. They were both there for clout. She didn't like him at first sight. Uh, she then convinced herself to stay on the show and proceed with the show. So they shouldn't make it seem like it was only one-sided we can only go by what they're saying and i can't wait for the reunion i hope it's addressed i hope we actually find out exactly what happened and exactly what was said because it would be nice to know why we're having sort of this conversation and why we're having this sort of um end of things because i feel like a lot more took place i know there have been rumors that apparently he was emotionally abusive or something like that but i feel like there was more that took place between these two people i think most of these couples are staying in these marriages just because they want to be on the show and they want to get as much clout as they can and when they realize that they are not getting clout um they're then starting unnecessary drama that way they can be the headline and this is the situation so you have Sasha sit down for a conversation with her husband. Um, she lets him know that, you know, she was upset about the picture and the fact that he was leaning in towards another wife. And he sort of explains himself that the, it was no, it was nothing serious. It wasn't that deep. He was just there taking a picture with the group and didn't see anything wrong with it. And so if she is offended, he'll take it on board. Uh, but he, he knew she was friends with her and he was just, in there for the for the photo op and nothing else and so i don't get why she's still making a big deal out of it then you can see that her and polly coached each other on what they were going to say they coached each other on what they were going to say and came ready to to sort of get their husbands riled up that way they can go into attack mode so she tells her husband that you know oh alex was telling me that i wake fake jewelry he told me that this bracelet he more or less implied it was fake he said he's going to drive past me with this range rover in birmingham uh this that and the other and it's like I understand Ross getting upset listening to his wife, but he should also ask his wife, what did you do or what did you say to sort of provoke that response? Because the last time I had a conversation with him, he said he was going to apologize. So how did you go from apologizing to you getting to this space? Make it make sense? Um, so I can't wait for the dinner party because apparently there's going to be fireworks. And one thing about Alex is he's going to stand on business. That I love about him. He's going to always stand on business. He's going to mind his own business uh, until you come for him. And when you come for him, he's going to be ready. It's not like Polly who always involves herself in other people's drama. So I can't wait for the fallout for that. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And click the link in my video to watch my review from episode 22. Bye, guys.